I'm on a quest to find the best wings in America, and I'm traveling across the country state by state until I find them. On this leg of the quest, I'll be trying wings from the southeast central region, so that includes Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky. I'm here in Louisville, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the first restaurant. The most suggested wings place in the state of Kentucky was a restaurant called Mama's Mustard, Pickles, and Barbecue. They've been featured in diners, drive-ins, and dives, and they cite Kansas City-style barbecue as their main influence, while their sauce is Oklahoma-inspired. They have two locations, and I went to the one in St. Matthews, which I think has a little more character than their second location, which is located in a strip mall. I got seated right away and saw that their menu claimed to have the best wings ever. We'll see about that. I went ahead and got an order of 10 with blue cheese on the side. The wings are served without sauce, but on each table there's a barbecue sauce, a spicy barbecue sauce, and a vinegar sauce with pepper. There's no buffalo sauce at Mama's. And since this is primarily a barbecue place, the wings are smoked. The wings came out super fast, and before I dig in, I just wanna give a quick recap of how the wings will be scored. Each restaurant's wings are ranked on a scale of one to 10 across five different categories for a total score out of 50. Those categories include appearance slash first impression, so how the wings look visually, meatiness and size, like I don't want to be eating a skimpy little wing, texture and tenderness, so are they crispy rather than mushy on the outside, and are they juicy and falling off the bone on the inside, as opposed to dry and chewy. The fourth category is sauce flavor, and that one's pretty self-explanatory. And the fifth category is the score I give for the overall experience of the wings. I may comment on the price or the vibe of the restaurant from time to time, but those will not affect the final score. And just as a reminder, I view this as more of a grading scale, where a C is average instead of a 5 out of 10 representing an average score. All right, back to Mama's. For appearance and first impression, I went 8.5 out of 10. They looked solid, but I was a little apprehensive about the dry rub. I went 9.5 out of 10 for meatiness and size. Not a perfect 10 out of 10 because some were really big and some were more standard size. I dug in and decided for texture and tenderness to go 7.5. They were decent, but they weren't that tender and also not that crispy. On the other hand though, to their credit, they weren't that dry either, even without the sauce. Now for the sauce flavor. So first I tried them without any sauce and the flavor profile by itself was fine. They were smoky and juicy, but not like mind blowing. And then I tried them with each of the three sauces. The sweet barbecue was also fine. And the hot barbecue I liked better, but still not like earth shattering. And then finally the vinegar was, it was just a little strange. I would say it wasn't for me. So I went 7.75 out of 10. And for my overall experience of the mama's wings, I went 8.5 out of 10. That brings them to a total score of 41.75 out of 50. And if you've been watching the series, that's a pretty similar score to Fox Bros Barbecue in Atlanta, which I would say is the most similar style to Mama's out of any of the wings I've tried so far on this quest. I also want to give a shout out to Wing King in Lexington, Kentucky, which was the second most suggested restaurant in the state. If you're curious about restaurant selection, I factor in viewer suggestions, online lists of the best wings in that state, and then Google reviews. And for those, I'm factoring not only score, but also the number of reviews and whether people are mentioning the wings specifically in the reviews. Unfortunately, I can't make it to every restaurant you guys suggest, but I promise I'm trying to do my due diligence when it comes to restaurants selection. The next morning I set out for Tennessee and crossed over into Central Time. It was also rainy as all get out. And the most suggested restaurant in the state of Tennessee was a place in Memphis called Ching's Hot Wings. But I'm also throwing in a bonus restaurant for the state of Tennessee. Bonus restaurant. I was too excited about this place to pass it up. It's a little restaurant called Brother Z's Wang Shack. And that's Wang, not Wing. And this isn't the type of place you're going to see on many lists online. This is like a hole in the wall with a hand painted sign. And it was suggested to me by my friend Nathan Kohlberg. Nathan is a singer-songwriter based in Nashville and he's really talented. I'll link his music in the description below and would definitely encourage you to check it out. But he told me that all the tourists go to Hattie B's when they come to Nashville. But not many people know that the best chicken is found at Brother Z's. Nathan actually called the restaurant the day before to confirm that Brother Z himself would be there when we went. And my goal at each restaurant is to order the classic hot buffalo sauce, kind of as a control, plus another flavor. And that's not always possible just because some restaurants like Mama's don't serve buffalo sauce. But that's my goal, and at least once per video, I will order the hottest wings on the menu. And lucky for you, I'm gonna do that twice in this video. So at Brother Z's, I ordered a 12 piece combo with six of their hot sauce and six of their lemon pepper dry rub. For appearance and first impression, I went 9.5 out of 10. I mean, these things looked real good. And for meatiness and size, I went nine out of 10. Just some really solid wings. As for texture, I would say that they were maybe a little bit crispier than I prefer and a little less tender, but still good. So I went 8.25. Now for the sauce flavor, the hot sauce wasn't too spicy, but it still had a good flavor to it. And in terms of the consistency, 
consistency, I would say it was more on the oily side than like the creamy side. The lemon pepper dry rub was pretty solid, but Nathan also let me try a couple of his. He had gotten the Cajun dry rub and then the garlic pepper dry rub. The Cajun was decent, but the garlic pepper was phenomenal. For flavor, I went 8.5 out of 10. And my overall experience of the wings at Brother Z's was nine out of 10 for a total score of 44.25 out of 50. That makes it the current leader for the Southeast Central region and brings it to the number four spot in the national rankings. From Nashville, I made my way down to Memphis to go to Ching's Hot Wings. And this is gonna be one of the places where I order the hottest sauce on the menu. I also wanna shout out Central Barbecue in Memphis, which was the second most suggested wings restaurant in Tennessee. Ching's was right next to the University of Memphis campus, situated in a very normal looking strip mall. I ordered their suicide sauce, which was their hottest sauce. And then I asked what other sauce they were most known for. And I was told the honey gold. At Ching's, you can choose from whole wings, which are drums attached to flats, or party wings, where the drums and flats are separate. So I got 10 of the party wings, five of each flavor. And admittedly, this was a little bit of a lapse in judgment on my part here. Like I said, I normally try to order the classic buffalo as like a control, but I still needed to go to three wings restaurants in three different states that same day. So I scaled back and just got those two flavors. One funny thing about Ching's is that they have pictures all over the walls. And I guess Bruno Mars went there once and he must've taken pictures with all of their staff because there are like at least half a dozen poster sized prints of Bruno Mars around the restaurant. The wings came out and I went 8.5 for appearance. I couldn't put my finger on it, but the sauce had like a little bit of an artificial or painted on look. For meatiness and size, I thought about going eight out of 10 because they weren't the biggest wings I've ever seen. But after biting in, I decided on an 8.5 because they were pretty meaty. And then here's where things really get good. For texture and tenderness, I went 9.75 out of 10. They had a really good crunch to them and they were also pretty tender and falling off the bone. That is a tough tightrope to walk. The honey gold sauce was really tasty but I was getting pretty nervous looking at the suicide sauce. I dove in and I thought it was pretty mild at first, but things really started to pick up. You know, it'd be a lot less painful is a box from Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering chef crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. You can stress less over meal times in 2024 because Factor's no prep, no mess meals free up time that you would otherwise spend shopping and cooking and cleaning. Factor is also incredibly customizable. They have over 35 meal options to choose from for lunch and dinner, like this chorizo chili I had the other day while I was working. And they have add ons like breakfast, juices, smoothies, and small bites. You can choose between four and 18 meals a week and you can adjust week to week depending on what your needs are. For me, Factor has been a lifesaver when I haven't had time to go to the grocery store but still want nutritious options. Their meals are ready to eat in just two minutes which makes them super convenient. And they're not too spicy, I promise. So if you're ready to take steps towards achieving your goals this year, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code REVIEW50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. And free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. That's factor75.com and the code is REVUE50. Okay, back to these hot wings. By the fourth wing, it was just full blown pain. The sauce was super messy. So that meant it got all over my fingers and then also all over my lips and my chin. So not only were my lips burning, but the rest of my face was also super hot as well. And pretty soon sweat started just dripping down my nose. And thankfully I made it through all five of those wings. Otherwise I would have brought shame to Bruno Mars. The afterburn last lasted for a while, but didn't stick around too, too long. My forehead did continue to sweat for a while though. And I also used way too many napkins trying to clean my hands up after. I would say these weren't the hottest wings I've ever had, but they were definitely a challenge to finish. And I went to the bathroom afterwards to wash my face off because I definitely didn't want any of that sticking around. For sauce flavor, I landed on a nine out of 10. For overall experience of the wings, I went 9.5 out of 10. So that brings us to a total score of 45.25 out of 50. That's a new leader in the Southeast Central ranking and the third highest ranked place in the United States so far. Next up, it was time to head to Mississippi. And I was surprised about this, but there were not that many suggestions from the audience for Mississippi. I found a couple lists online of the best wings in the state, but most of those places when I looked them up either had really bad Google reviews or were permanently closed. So I went with the only place that got suggested twice in the comment section. And that place was Fairley's Wings and More in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And I want y'all to know, I could have picked a place in Oxford or Tupelo to make my driveway easier, but I'm committed to finding the best 
Wings. And Fairleys, in addition to being suggested twice, also had the highest Google reviews of any of the Wings places that were suggested. By the way, when you look at Google reviews, it shows you the most frequent words used in the reviews. And like I said before, it's a plus for me if the word Wings shows up frequently in positive reviews. For some restaurants, Wings doesn't show up anywhere in that list, and that's a red flag. For another restaurant I researched called Walk-On's Sports Bistro, one of the most frequently mentioned topics was the restaurant's alligator meat. And that was tempting, but I figured I'd save that for another trip. Anyways, I was really glad that I made the trip to Hattiesburg because this place was really cool. It was a small sports bar and it was surprisingly crowded for 4.15 p.m. on a Saturday. I kind of figured I'd hit that lull between lunch and dinner, but I was dead wrong. They had a bunch of sauce flavors, so I ordered six hot and six Cajun ranch. And that was a recommendation from my waitress. For appearance and first impression, I went 8.5. The hot wings looked fine. And when I looked closely, it almost looked like they were a combination of a dry rub plus a wet sauce. So I was definitely intrigued. And similarly, the Cajun ranch looked like a Cajun dry rub with ranch drizzled on top. For meatiness and size, I went 7.5 out of 10. They were a little bit on the smaller side, but still had a decent amount of meat. For texture and tenderness, I went 8.5 out of 10. Decent in terms of both the crispiness and the tenderness, but I would say that they could be a little crispier in my opinion. Now for the sauce flavor, the hot was tasty, but nothing groundbreaking. The color was like a darker red, so my suspicion was that they went a little heavier on the Franks or whatever hot sauce they use, but that's just a guess. The Cajun Ranch was also good, but they weren't like my favorite wings I've ever had. I went eight out of 10. My overall experience of the wings was an 8.25 for a total score of 40.75. And here's how Fairleys stacks up against the other wings in the Southeast Central region. And for my final stop in this region, I made my way to Tuscaloosa, Alabama to visit a restaurant called Baumhauer's Victory Grill. Baumhauer's is named for Bob, Baumhauer's is named for owner Bob Baum, for owner Bob Baum, Bob Baumhauer, Bob Baumhauer. Baumhauer's is named for owner Bob Baumhauer, who was a former All-American at Alabama and a six-time All-Pro for the Miami Dolphins. Holy cow, that was hard to say. They have a bunch of locations now, but this is the site of the original, right next to the campus of the University of Alabama on Harper Lee Drive. They also have a location in Montgomery, Alabama, and if you're ever there, I highly recommend checking out the Legacy Museum, which was developed by the Equal Justice Initiative. Okay, at the Tuscaloosa of Baumhauer's, I was greeted by a cardboard cutout of Nick Saban right as I walked in. I got there right as an away Alabama basketball game was starting, so it was packed, but I was able to find a seat at the bar. Right next to the bar was the set of a weekly talk show called Hey Coach that featured Nick Saban. And for context, this was three days after Saban had announced his retirement, so looking at that set was a little bit like looking at Tiny Tim's empty chair on a trip to Christmas future. Not Tiny Tim. I ordered their wing sampler, which allows you to get 12 bone-in wings served three different ways. The three I ordered were regular hot and Alabama white sauce, and they don't normally serve wings like that, but I figured I couldn't go to Alabama without getting the white sauce. So the bartender told me she could serve me plain wings with the Alabama white sauce on the side. And then for the third variety, I asked what the hottest option would be. My understanding from the menu was that you chose the flavor and then the heat level, and the hottest heat level was called bring, bring the pain. pain. And then the bartender recommended that I get that with the Thai chili sauce for the flavor. The wings came out fairly quickly and I think what came out was four of the plain wings with the Alabama white sauce on the side, four Thai chili wings, which were not spicy, and then four buffalo wings with the bring to pain level of heat. So I'd give these wings a 10 for looks and a three for their ability to describe themselves. In all seriousness though, I went nine out of 10 for appearance. And then for meatiness and size, I went eight out of 10. These things looked solid, but not enormous. And for texture and tenderness, they had a great crunch to them. So I went nine out of 10. The main thing holding the back from a higher score in that category is that they were maybe just a little bit too crunchy. Now for the sauce flavor. I really liked the Alabama white sauce and the Thai sweet chili was fine, but I was also there to try the bring to pain. First of all, a manager came out and saw me trying the sauce with my finger and he was like, you like that? Let me bring you some extra. So he brought me a cup of extra bring to pain sauce and I poured that on the wings, which ended up being a huge mistake. And like most ultra hot wings I've tried before, they didn't seem too bad at first, but by wing three, I was in serious pain. I feel like different hot sauces affect the mouth in different ways. And this one was particularly harsh on the lips and then like the top of the tongue, but I just tried to power through. I got through the fourth wing, but quickly realized that these were way hotter than the wings I had had in Memphis earlier that day. I guess I had gotten a little cocky after I had made it through the wings at Ching's, but the bring to pain humbled me real quick. Bring the, pain. the burning sensation continued for a long time after I had finished and it might've even gotten worse. I tried to eat some ranch to help 
help, but I don't think it did much. My forehead just continued sweating profusely, and the pain finally subsided to a dull roar after like seven or eight minutes. I had saved myself a few of the Alabama white sauce wings so I could finish my meal on a good note rather than on just pure discomfort. My final score for the sauce flavor was 8.5 out of 10, and for the overall experience of the wings, another 8.5. So that's a total score of 43 out of 50. So for the Southeast Central Region, Ching's Hot Wings comes out on top, followed by Brother Z's and then Baumhauer's. And Ching's with a very strong performance nationally, taking that number three spot from the Dirty Buffalo in Virginia. This leg of the quest consisted of 57 wings eaten, over 30 hours driven, and zero credit cards lost. So overall a pretty good trip. So far we're 20 states down with 30 to go. Next up will be the South Central Region, which includes Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. So if you haven't already, let me know in the comments where I can find the best wings in your state. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future installments of this quest. And just remember that even when it doesn't feel like it, like when you're fighting for your life after eating something called bring to pain, eventually it's going to be okay. I'll see you soon.